गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फ्रेसेस एंड टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रेसेस स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू रिमेंबर लास्ट वीक वी डिड वी हैव सॉल्व सम ऑफ द एक्सरसाइजेस बेस्ड ऑन एडवर्ब फ्रेस ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम आई एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज अ फ्रेस एंड वॉट इज एन एडवर्ब फ्रेस वी हैव अंडरलाइन we have solved the exercise in our course book and in our workbook in which we have underlined the adverb phrase i explain what is a phrase a phrase a it is a group of words that does not have a subject and a verb a group of words that does not have a subject and a verb is called a phrase i repeat a group of words that does not have a subject and a verb is called a phrase students a phrase it has some meaning but not complete meaning i recapitulate a phrase has some meaning but not complete meaning and third thing we have to remember about a phrase that is a phrase it is a part of a sentence a phrase it is a part of a sentence see here and try to understand a group of words that does not have a subject and a verb is called a phrase a group of words that does not have a subject and a verb is called a phrase a phrase has some meaning but not complete meaning it has some meaning but not complete meaning and phrase it is a part of a sentence now let's understand phrases through examples here see i have written some phrases here and there here and there it is a phrase just verify here and there here and and there three words it means it is a group of words here and there it does not have a subject and does not have a verb so it is a phrase if you see here and there it has some meaning here and there we can understand here and there it has some meaning but it does not have complete meaning so it is a phrase another example in the city in the and city three words it means it is a group of words in the city it does not have a subject and a verb in the city it has some meaning but it does not have complete meaning so in the city it is also a phrase third one on time on time on time so two words so it is a group of words on time it does not have a subject and a verb it has it has some meaning on time but not complete meaning so on time it is also a phrase so here and there in the city on time they are phrases now see how we use phrases in the sentence he is looking for his pen here and there here you can see the presence of here and there so here and there it is a part of a sentence here and there it is a part of a sentence here and there it does not have a subject does not have a verb it is a phrase and here it is a part of a sentence next he lives in the city here in the city it is a phrase and it is a part of a sentence and third rita goes to work on time here on time it is a phrase and it is a part of a sentence students i hope you have understood if you have not understood once again twice or thrice watch the video and try to understand thank you